You're kidding me, right? It's not even July. Are you serious? Right now? What is going on, guys? Spooky Guy 444 here, coming at you again with my annual Spirit Halloween tier list. It is that time of the year already. It is June. It is the end of June, and we have seen almost the entire Spirit Halloween lineup in in classic fashion of the channel, something I've been doing since the turn of the decade. We are going to be doing a Spirit Halloween tier list. I do two of these every year, one at the beginning of the drop and then one at the end of the drop with my final thoughts. And right now, after seeing the Carnival Axe, this is looking to be a phenomenal year handedly. I don't want to call it the best just yet because there's still not a lot we haven't seen and there's still not a lot of videos that we haven't seen yet too, but I'm excited to get into this. This tier list will feature all the stuff just from Carnival. It will not include any of the uh, earlier drops such as Boo Boo and Rick Ratman. I will save that for the final one in like October, uh, November. So without further ado, I'm Spooky Guy 44 and let's get right into the Spirit Halloween 2024 tier list. All right, and here we go. We have all the animatronics that were shown yesterday. I won't be doing any new ones and i also will be counting some of the remakes as well so let's get right into this tier list starting off with the dark princess the dark princess is one that i'm kind of indifferent on i think she's okay just a c tier prop actually better than what i was expecting considering that she's over five feet tall when she jumps up which is just what that's huge she's pretty solid not one i'm the biggest fan of but one that I can appreciate. I like the design a lot. I think it's super creepy and the wings are a nice touch as well. Is it one to pick up? No, definitely not, but it's pretty neat. I just kind of wish that this dark princess idea was put on a prop that isn't a dagger micro. The cremator. I know a lot of people don't like the cremator. I love him. I actually do really like him. I think he's pretty, pretty cool. Going in the B tier for sure. The cremator is a static prop made by Techie. And that's the main thing I like about it is the audio, because I think Techie did a fantastic job on the audio for this thing. Like, it sounds so good. I don't know how they pulled it off, but I love it. He's cool. 200 though, is horribly steep. That is an awful price. So, yeah, not one I don't think I'll get because of the price, but I do appreciate its existence. And now for one of the greatest clown props of all time. Cotton Candy Dan is insane i cannot believe this thing the face sculpt is just fantastic i love that rotten zombie clown the animation's great the scare is just okay it's an okay scare and the, the stock audio scream is kind of corny but other than that i don't even care and just the audio oh besides the stock audio oh his phrases are so good he is such a great clown easily one of the best i do plan on getting him i didn't get him on the drop but i will get him eventually hands down great great animatronic the rainmaster is one that's just okay in my opinion i feel like with him he's just too cartoony and i wish that we got a more humanoid design with this concept i think it would have worked a lot better we also haven't seen a lot of him yet either as we've only seen parts of his animation and we know that there's a projector in his chest and he leans back and he talks I like his phrases, they're pretty okay, but yeah, he's not, I don't have much to say about him. We gotta wait on a video, he's pretty okay. Victor is another S tier one, hands down. And while we're at it, we'll do Emily too. They're both S tier. These are some of the greatest licensed animatronics ever made. I cannot believe these things. And the fact that they are less than Nozzles the Clown, keep that in mind. The most expensive prop this year is the same price as Nozzles the Clown, just remember that. These things are crazy. I love them so much. And just the design looks great. Like they came out just like the movies and the animation is insane with the servos and the blinking and they're interactive as well, which is just an awesome touch. Gonna try and pick these two up. It's gonna be expensive, but they're worth it. 
easily, hands down, for 280 and 300 respectively. You can't even go wrong. Some of the best licensed props ever made. Nibbles is another S tier one, but not because of just the character. I will say the character and design of Nibbles is just kind of okay. Maybe like a B tier. However, the technology is what puts him so high up. This animatronic has motion tracking in the head, which means that as you're walking by it, its head follows you. That is insane. How do you, what? Retail has advanced so far ahead of what we had just at the beginning of the decade. So now we have motion tracking technology in our props. That's nuts. So yeah, definitely a cop just because of that. This technology is something that needs to be upheld to the highest regard. I just wish that the design of the prop itself was a lot better. And the audio sucks. His audio is flat out terrible because it's all based around the fact that he can follow you. But whatever still the technology is insane and i'm excited to see where they go with it in the future towering to lulo um i don't like this thing it's bad it's kind of cheeks but i understand why it's cheeks let me explain so without getting into too much detail um there was a last minute change where Tallulah replaced another animatronic and because of that she was super rushed, and they only made this thing in a couple of months, which is pretty impressive, I'm not even gonna lie. They, they did a good job for making her in such a short amount of time. However, she's really bad. It's all reused parts with the servo siren head, the stock audio, and it's just a Mr. Dark reskin, which is nothing new, as the gimmick of Mr. Dark was his scare, and now the scare's been done three times, and even approved upon with stuff like Emmeline. So yeah, not a fan of Tallulah, just meh. It's meh. It's not good. And now for Giant Death Ray. Giant Death Ray is hands down, while an animatronic that I understand is very, very polarizing, I think that he is amazing. And he's very interesting, too, because to me, he feels like a response to Home Depot. And if you don't understand what I mean, let me explain. So think about it this way. We have an outdoor rated prop at 10 foot tall with servo technology and great lighting effects as well for $350. What does that sound like to you? <laughs> Predator of uh, Night. And because of that, I think that they did a really good job. So he's 10 foot tall, he's outdoor rated in seasonal visions with all the stuff I just listed off. And I love Death Ray. And as you know me, I'm not a huge alien guy. I don't really care much for a lot of the aliens from 2017. And we haven't really gotten others since then. I thought Martian was just okay and other stuff like that. I love the Death Ray. Death Ray is amazing. They did such a great job on him. Everything is great. The audio is kind of interesting, but I don't mind it. He's one that I want to try and pick up on the sale. So I hope that I can just because 350, it's steep. It's a lot of money and I don't really like spending that kind of money on my props in general, but I love him. He's so great. And speaking of another great one, Bobby Strings. Bobby Strings might be the most imposing animatronic ever made. Not only is a creep factor there with the scary marionette face, the, these photos don't do him any justice, but with him being seven foot seven, his proportions have to be massive. His head has to be the size of like Popping Goblin's pumpkin, but you can't see him in frame, but he's there. And just stuff like that, like it's insane how big this animatronic is going to be and because of that his box is going to suck so much but whatever it happens either way i love bobby strings he came out amazing another one that i'm definitely going to try and pick up for sure 100 percent worth his price a lot of those prices this year are very very good there's very few prices i dis disagree with other than cremator and ringmaster kind of steep but yeah twitching banshee the first flashback on our page here yeah, Twitching Banshee is pretty, pretty cool. I do like her a little bit. I've always been a pretty solid fan of Twitching Banshee's just, just been never one that I've wanted to get. I've never really had a reason to get Twitching Banshee, but that's not to say that she's bad. I do actually quite like her. And I think this one, the paint job's kind of funky on it, but I think it'll look better in person, probably. She's 230, which is kind of awful. I'm not gonna lie. That's a really bad price for her, but Either way, she's cool. Pretty solid one. Like her a little bit. And we also up next have Gravestone Ghoul. 
Now, Gravestone Ghoul, I also like quite a bit. It's another SVI Twitcher. It thrashes around the back of the tombstone. It's a nice little background prop. Not a lot to say about him because of that. He's 180, which is, uh, it's okay. But it's still, like, he's cool. It's a nice little zombie prop. Love my zombies. SVI did a pretty good job on him. He's not bad. He's pretty solid. Bartaby the Bear. Bartaby is another polarizing animatronic, and for me, he sits in the B tier. There's a lot of things I like about Barnaby, but there's a lot of things I'm not a huge fan of. The well, one thing I'm really not a fan of is the eyebrows. The eyebrows just need to, they need to go. They need to get out. Eyebrows suck. But other than that, I think he looks pretty solid. I like the animation. The fact that it isn't a Mr. Punchy reskin, I think works a lot better. And it also adds for more stability because in the back, you can kind of see there's a base and then there's actually a pole that down this back that probably operates his mechanism. So I think it came out pretty well. I don't hate him. He's not bad at all. Wanda Webworth. Wanda Webworth is another heavy, heavy hitter this year for me. Wanda is just, oh, I've always wanted a prop like this, just a giant mutant spider. And I'm so happy that we're finally getting it. The sci-fi props this year are really off the head shazam it's crazy and yeah wanda has a lot of nice features she's 280 and six foot which is kind of iffy however what's nice about wanda is not only does she have a lot of molded plastic parts her other appendages that aren't moving are posable which is a very nice little touch i think that's very very cool and the audio not bad we haven't seen much of her but from what we've seen i think she's going to be great and i think she's going to be one that i pick up 100 percent Max Straw. This is the most unexpected animatronic of the entire drop. And let me explain what I mean by that. Max Straw is one that, in my humble opinion, when I first saw him in leaks, I thought that he was just okay. Nothing that I was going to write home about. However, after the video and reading some descriptions, I realized that this is an amazing scarecrow prop. And let me explain. So, Max Straw has just a turning head and creepy laughing audio, which is fine. He stands on a scythe, and right now we think he's techie. I, I'm like almost positive he's techie, but either way, his sculpt on the head is fantastic. That is an amazing head sculpt. I have never seen such an amazing sculpt in my life. That's an exaggeration, but either way, uh, it looks amazing. He's super creepy, the teeth, the blacked out eyes. It looks awesome. And he's outdoor rated. Yes. Yes, King. He's outdoor rated. I could not be happier, man. That was the actual reason that I decided to go and get him is because I read the description. I saw outdoor use and I was like, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. We're progressing. He stands at about slightly under eight foot tall. So he's pretty big. But just all that in mind and he's outdoor and he came up very well. I love Max Straw. All right, up next we have Michael. Michael is very unfortunate because he's very disappointed by the Michael. I was excited for a new Michael and I thought Spirit could maybe finally break this 14 year curse of just not getting a good Michael Myers prop. And fortunately they did not break the curse and it's mid, it's very mid. So with this Michael, it's SVI and it's just super stiff. Like, I wish he wasn't so stiff. And there's, like, there's stiff Michaels in a good way, like the Jimmy ones. And then there's bad stiff Michaels like this one. It just doesn't look good. And also the hair is, eh, the hair's the hair's kind of whack, but that's fine. I, I could care less about the hair. It looks good. I think everything else looks really good on him. It's just those cons really hold him down. And I was hoping for Servo's heck on the Michael, I'm not going to lie. But we did not get that, which sucks. But... Yeah, Michael's just meh. You're disappointed, but he's all right. Another one that actually exceeded expectations was the Smoldering Gatekeeper. Smoldering Gatekeeper to me feels like Spirit's response to the Rattles hype. And I say that because of the fact that he is gigantic. When he's fully risen up from his animation, he's four foot seven, which is over the height of the at home rattles groundbreaker and embers so he's bigger than them and on top of that he is a groundbreaker so he's already going to be big and his parts look huge like his skull and his hands look massive so he's a very big prop which also leads me to the fact that 200 bucks is low-key a steal for this thing 
it's a really good price he's pretty cool i do like him quite a bit he's one i want to see in person to really get that idea of how big it is but yeah he's really good really happy with him not happy with this one though cerberus why is it back again one of the worst animatronics of the past 10 years why is it back again and now it's a staple prop so it's going to come back every single year I hate this thing. I hated it in 2015, hated it in 2019, and I hate it now. Cerberus sucks. I don't need to explain why. There are no legs, he's cheap, he's small, he's boring, and he just makes me angry that he keeps coming back and wasting slots, wasting precious prop slots that we could have had for great stuff. Not Cerberus. Hate him. Hate his guts. Art the Clown, though. Art the Clown is very, very cool. I always, I have spoke a little bit about Art the Clown when he came out in a YouTube short, which you should totally watch if you haven't yet. I do quite like Art the Clown. I think, in my humble opinion, it is better than the Party City one. However, I really, really, really wish that they would just sp sprinkle some blood on him. I don't know why they didn't. But, yeah, either way, I think he came out really nice. I like him. I think his animation is really cool. And 200 is another absolute steal of a price. For this thing it's a really good price i could see him being a very good very very good seller just because of that price and the fact that it's art so awesome job spirit ghost face though ghost face is just another eh, one i like that he comes with multiple parts i think the multiple part thing is kind of cool with the machete and the knife and then the two masks i think that's a great feature and i really like his audio a lot as it's pulled straight from the movie however the animation and just the design of him is just not that great looking he just kind of looks mid. So yeah, definitely disappointed in the ghost face. I think it's definitely a lot, a lot better than the CCL 2021 ghost face, but it's definitely not any 2011 ghost face. Another absolute stinker of a lineup one here is Night Terror. Night Terror is a budget prop, which makes me kind of understand why you would get him because as much as he sucks, He's a really good starter prop for a haunter. If you're just getting into this and you don't have the money and you want to get a prop, Night Terror is only $100, which is a really good price. Like, it, it's a great price for him. However, he sucks. His audio is bad. His animation is even worse. I do really like his color scheme, though. I think his color scheme is pretty good. It, it came out pretty nice. So, yeah, Night Terror, not as bad as Cerberus, but he's pretty bad. And finally, to end off this tier list, we have Creepy Towering Clown, the man who impacted it all. That is right. Creepy Towering Clown, he is a prop that has aged like poop. He did not age well at all. However, I do think that with all that in mind, he's still a very solid clown animatronic. And one that I think, with even poorly aging, feels right in coming back. He is online only, which sucks, but I think that he's still a great prop. He's still going to do well because he's Towering Clown. And I'm really happy to see the improvements on quality from thicker metal from SVI and then the shoe covers and all that fun stuff. So yeah, really, really happy to see Towering Clown back. I think it was a well-deserved return. And I'm very excited to see people's pickups of Towering Clown. Thank you guys all for watching. I'm really sorry with how this video is kind of edited. I had to make some adjustments with how the tier list is normally set up, like how I do in past years, where it's like a recording of me moving the stuff in place. I had to do screenshots because of my software not really working. So I am sorry about that. However, thank you guys all for watching. I'm Spooky Guy 444. I hope you guys enjoyed this tier list. Once we see everything, I will do a much bigger one with all the props. And yeah, very excited for that. Thank you all for watching. I'm Spooky Guy 444, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>